this is my review on the TBS Classic Reference Bible, the Authorised King James Version. Now, it is put out by Trinitarian Bible Society. And you can see here the number is 4-UBK. And these are the, the dots here are the, um, what it has. So it, ha it is a genuine leather, calfskin, um, sewn binding, Bible paper, gilt edges. You have two ribbon markers, you have headbands and tailbands. There's no thumb index in this one and it's not zippered. That is the size of the font which is an 8 point font and also the size of the Bible is right there as well. So they used to be a slip case and now they actually put them in a clamshell so that was different. And here it is here. So just have Holy Bible Classic Reference Bible and the TBS logo down the bottom here with your two quite short ribbons. They're not flash ribbons, but they do the job. And they both go into the same the same spot up the top here. As they do with all TBS, they do the same thing. As you can see the gold. You do have it is a paste down. It is quite a thick it is quite thick cover, but I think they actually have cardboard in between the leather and the paste down. So I wouldn't be trying to scrunch it up or anything. It's a nice solid little Bible. I did count you'd have 20 sheets of spare paper in this for your, to write notes and stuff on. You also have a presentation page, which is, which is just a nice basic presentation page, which is quite nice actually. And... We get into the font. It is a self-pronouncing font as well. It is a nice deep dark print and you can see the references here on the side and you've got number two which is reference which is refers to over here as number two and likewise on the other side it does the same thing for you here. See 24 there's 24 there. So you don't have to look for your references which is quite good. This is a Cambridge this is a Cambridge um, Bible and it is printed in Belarus and this is there's your number here so it's the third month and 2018 now this is the image of the Concord edition is the property of Cambridge University Press so this is actually a Cambridge Concord compact text. Now, Church Bible Publishers also do the same do the same thing with this one. And if you look close enough, I'll try and get them both on the same. Try and get them both on the same page. So we'll go Leviticus. So we'll do this. It's a lot easier. Leviticus and it says here 133 so I'll go on to the TBS Bible and go 133 not too far and there you go there and it's exactly the same paging as you can see it finishes here on 17 all his mothers and it finishes here, all his mothers. So the 115 from Church Bible Publishers is actually the same one as this one, but the biggest difference is the size. The actual footprint of this, the, C, the, the Church Bible Publisher one is actually a bit bigger, bigger because of the, the leather and the, and the lap. Same here because it's got a bit of a lap over here so it's the same but it's the same size it's a little bit bigger in the text block because this has more more room here top and bottom and on the sides as well so that's why it's a little bit bigger 
and it's also thicker because this paper is actually this paper in this one is actually thicker and plus it has all this other information in this one where this one doesn't it just has it just has your maps and there's no concordance in this one so it is a nice size now I bought this because I wanted to replace my old pit menu as you can see I've, some of you have seen this it's just it's had it I've dropped you know it's been dropped in a puddle of water and pages are ripped and I've had to write out the the verses over here and the covers done together with gaffer tape I mean quite happy you know and same here so it's all done with gaffer tape and so I've been looking for another pit minion now I do have another pit minion but you see this one is verse by verse so you can't even read half this page this one is verse by verse the new pit minions are actually paragraphed uh, I prefer a verse by verse so what I did so I've got one of these and if you get the pit minion they're both the same size both the same footprint just about it's just a little fraction it's only like I think it was 50 it was five millimeters thicker this one and we'll do the, the new pit minion so you can check that one out as well there it is there it's only five millimeters bigger and that's that's like that much bigger it's it's not much at all you know and it's a nice solid Bible I do like the pit minions so but like I said they don't make them verse by verse anymore and this text on this one is really nice as you can see and at the end you just have the maps now these are the same maps that are in the church Bible one Bible publish as well show you the maps Exactly the same, just a different different shade of colour, that's all. These are exactly the same maps. See? Exactly the same. No difference. And exactly the same in, in the old pit minion as well. The maps are exactly the same. It's the ones in the new pit minion that the maps are different. Oh, that's a photo. See the maps are different. But yeah, same maps. So it's quite a nice pipe, I like it, and I think this is going to be my this. I'm pretty sure this is my replacement now for my for my pit minion. So it's a very nice Bible. And this will, this, uh, even though it's a paste down, it will life float eventually. I mean, I've already got it pretty well. You go to the middle, nice and flat. So it's not going to take much for this to actually work a bit more in. And I've been reading out of this today as well. So it won't take much for this to lie flat. So I'm mean, just getting there. It's just a matter of, of, of using it. So I did the proper break in and everything with this. So there you go. It's lying flat there. And what are we in? We're in Kings. So that's not too bad. Like I said, it's pretty much just out of the box. I've only been playing with it for about half a day. I've been reading out of it and using it. So, But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the replacement for my pit minion. My favourite pit minion, which is this one here. Like I said, it's pretty much the same size, except it's just a little bit thicker, but that's okay. But I do have a lot better printers on it. And I have verse by verse in this one, where the new pit minion... Pin where the new pits aren't aren't verse by verse, they're paragraphed. And they actually found that this this is actually just a black letter. They don't make they don't do a red letter bible. And the print in this is actually is consistent too, all the way through. So it's actually a really good print. This bottle. I didn't really find anywhere where it was a major as you can see. I'm just flipping through. You might come across maybe one page might be a little tad lighter, but I haven't really found one yet. And at the back you also have you also have a glossary. You have also have a reading plan, which I don't use reading plans. I just start from Genesis and then Matthew and I just alternate when I'm reading. 
and there you have the glossary in the middle a few pages of the glossary but yeah she is a really nice bottle so yeah so that's my review of the TBS Classic Reference Bible King James. They uh, TBS only do King James as well. If you if you're asking, um, they also are ministry. And um, yeah, so if you're looking for a decent Bible, nice calfskin, paste down, Smith's own. So yeah. So thanks for watching and God bless.